are guys, back for another video. So yeah, quite a few pickups here. Um, that's what I'm doing in this room, because basically I need the table. Um, I've got my, some of my board games in my games room. <laughs> I can only really do small pickups in there, because I can only fit a chair and only pick up some stuff. Yeah, really busy. Um, this is going to be probably first of two videos, so um, I picked up some board games. So, at this event, basically I went to UK Games Expo. It was at the NEC. Um, Last weekend, actually, so hopefully I'm doing this um, Saturday. Um, really bad weather outside, so I thought I'd do it. Um, yeah, so I was supposed to do this pickup on Monday or Tuesday, but I got a bit of mad flu. <laughs> Week to recover. Yeah, so so I got ball games, um, car boot pickups. Um, yeah, so basic story. Um, as always, I travel up, travel up to the Midlands. To me, that's up north. <laughs> Controversial. <laughs> it's, all, it's all up north to me. Um, yeah, I stopped in. We can't get the hotel till three o'clock. Um, so I actually drove up on my own. I was supposed to... At, at the beginning, there was supposed to be four of us going. And then two, so two people sort of dropped out. No money. or other commitments. And then one of my friends, like, he booked the wrong week holiday. So we were, we're literally, a week before, we were both going up on the first day. And then realised instead of booking the 1st of June, he booked like the first sort of full week in June, because our holiday starts from like Monday to Sunday. So he booked the wrong week, and he could get all the days off apart from like, um, apart from the first day. Even though we're going up on Thursday, but he didn't finish work till like 10 o'clock at night. So I was like, I can't wait around all day. I need to obviously, my plans is obviously go to the shops and stuff. And um, he was, he was going to contribute like an extra, he also owed me £20 towards petrol. Um, so I thought, oh, I'll miss out on the £20 towards petrol, but what he did was he caught the mega bus, <laughs> which he did match in mine, but that was about 22 quid. So he caught the mega bus up from Cornwall, forget to do from Cornwall to London and London to like the ADC. So after through Friday, he sort of turned up at the event. Anyway, yeah, <clears throat> so yeah, did my usual sort of like a retro road trip on the way up there. Um, about a month ago, I went to Insane Games in Bridgewater, but I thought go to a couple of other Insane Games. Um, and one was at a place called Street, and one was at um, Wales. I didn't know Street was actually like a town, it just said Street, so I thought, oh, it might be like Bristol, like a, like a Bristol Street or something, but it's actually a, like a town called Street. Um, and I, I, so I typed in the Wales, so I actually drove past this place called Street. I saw the, saw the side thinking, oh, I bet the other one's there. But yeah, so I got, I got to Wales first, but Wales is sort of bit, probably half an hour sort of like nearer. Um, to where I was going. Not even now, I don't think. So I thought, oh, there's no point going back to the other place. Um, I got there like quarter to 12. The guy had a little sign saying, you know, um, closed. So I'm going to be closed. Um, closed to 20 past 12. So I had my, some of my trash to trade in. Um, I had a Super Nintendo. Um, three PS... No, yeah, three PS1s. And some trash games that I've been carrying around for ages. Um, now I've taken into insane games a couple of times. In Bridgewater, um, but yeah, but this time I obviously turned up, got got there. Um, I said, "Oh, I've got some consoles to test. I want some trade in because I knew I I saw the on the Facebook group he had some board games on the shelf. There's one game I really wanted, and um, he's like, oh, it's, it's, obviously I'll give you, I'll give you, you know, if you give me my phone, if if you give me your phone number, I'll you know, I'll phone you and hope you know, come back tomorrow. I'm like, I'll oh, contact, come back tomorrow, mate. I'm, I'm like, how long does it take to do consoles? He's like, we have to test them an hour for each console. I'm like, what? <laughs> an hour for each console. I'm like, you have a laugh. So we go around in circles like that. I go, well, the other bridge wars, literally, they just like test them and then serve people as like people come in. But yeah, so we only took about an hour and 45 minutes to do it. Um, I did test like all three PS1s before, went, but one of them was apparently not working. He couldn't get it to work. I'm like, what? So I didn't trade that one in. And also, um, normally other insane games of Bridge War match a CEX, but we're going around in circles. I'm like, he was only giving me half the price of what um, CEX was going to give. I'm like, well, the other place always matches it. And then he phoned, I, go to, I guess the guy who owns it, or like the manager, and then we go around in circles for like 20 minutes. But the guy was like, I sell him for the same price as like CEX like, trades him in. And I'm like, well, maybe you should, you know, obviously you, gotta, you need to check your prices, mate. That's what you, that's what you need to do. But so we go around in circles, but obviously because I travelled there, so I think he did give me like four pound less on the um, PlayStation ones than CEX, and something like eight quid less on the Super Nintendo. But there was like a board game on the shelf I like, really wanted, so it was really annoying. So I picked up, 
Yeah, I picked up a. I picked up, instead of getting like two ball games, I only was able to afford one ball game and some like pickups. So the ball game I did get was Gears of War, <clears throat> and on the shelf it, I think it was like forty five quid or forty nine quid. Um, Gears of War, the board game, is like an out of print board game, so they haven't pr means they haven't actually printed any sort of like new copies for release for a good two to three years. And the good thing with the little shops, um, yeah, so that that board game at the moment is going for something like eighty quid, like open or like a hundred and ten, one hundred twenty pound plus, like um, sealed. So basically, what I did, yeah, I got I've, I've, I've traded in um, all my trash. So yeah, there was like a bag of games that I take to like game shops. Obviously, the discs are scratch and that, and sometimes they take them in, sometimes they don't. And this guy probably took about forty percent of the ones that were with the same bag I, I did traded at Insane Games in Bridgewater. He took like about forty percent of the of the of those games that they rejected. So I'm like, oh great. <clears throat> so yeah, it was just just trash. And yeah, I got. Got that board game, and I was luckily I was able to put it in the Bring and Buy UK Games Expo, and I think I put it for a hundred quid, and it didn't sell off like a day, but then I put it to like ninety quid, and it sold, so I was really happy to sell it. So yeah, so in the end I made forty pound profit from it, and I traded in some trash, and yeah, and then and also called Super Nintendo, which I picked up from the car boot a few um, weeks ago, probably probably about a month ago, which I paid ten pound just for. Um, the console only. I've kept the game. Uh, I better sell that game on. So yeah, so really happy with um, which what I did actually. Yeah. Um, at the PS, you know, PlayStation ones. They were all just the stuff that was in my garage. I still got a few in there. But he also had some other games in the shop. And he didn't have much in there to be honest. The stock was really bad. But this is what I got as well. So I got. Bass Strike, <laughs> or, or Bass Strike, <laughs> no, Bass Strike, and this was like a quid, <laughs> it's like an absolute garbage game. Um, Populous DS, I never knew I actually did um, a Populous um, on the DS, and this looks absolutely awesome, obviously it's Populous' game, I'm not quite sure it's like a Mega Drive conversion, or the Super Nintendo conversion, or just an up-to-date one. 2008, so yeah, so happy to get that in the collection. So that was the first thing I saw. Um, yeah, this is just a random PSP game. Double check the games are actually here. <laughs> yep, thank God for that. Um, I never, yeah, I've never seen this like PSP game. There wasn't much games there, and um, like I said, I would have got an extra ball game. So I worked out I should have an extra like twenty quid or so, um, which would have purchased this other board game. I think yeah, this was eighteen quid, and the board game that I wanted was like thirty five quid. Yeah, so obviously you know, four pound in each of the ones because one of my PlayStations were rejected. Yeah, I would have got an extra board game and some more games. I would have got this and an extra board game probably. Um, so yeah, I don't. Panar, Panina, Panar. I don't know. Can I really be the hero? It's a random PSP game. Never heard of it. I scanned it into Amazon. It was like a 22 quid game in there for 18 quid. So I thought, <coughs> well, this looks like this looks really cool. Absolutely really cool. Never heard of it, but yeah, happy that's going to go in my play pile. <clears throat> and he also has some guides on the shelf, um, which I do like some of these like random shops in the middle there. Pokemon Black and White, and for five quid, can't go wrong for that, you know. That's a good thing with these shops, they've probably pro it's probably been there for absolute years. Like Just like that board game, obviously he's out of print, they've probably got it two or three years ago and just been there on the shelf. Loads of dust and all was on it and everything. Yeah, happy to get out for five quid. And a guide which I had probably 99, 2000. I lent it to my nephew and um, never saw it again. <laughs> but I got it there and it was seven quid and it's Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. So, yeah, it's probably around, no, probably a bit later than that. I don't know, two, yeah, 2003, 2004 maybe. Yeah, so there was a Pokemon Blue and um, Red, like, um, double version. I think that's the one I lent him, actually, not this one. So sorry about that random story that it doesn't it doesn't link up with this book. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so well happy. Got this, £7. Once again, like I said, traded in my trash for that. And got that board game. So, yeah, so I expected to get over, like, a, like you know, 100 quid or so. Probably more, I spent 56 quid or 50 quid 
on the Super Nintendo, which is weird. He says he sells them, must have been the guy on frame, he sells them for 50 quid, and CX would give him something like 52 or 53 quid. Like, on box or something stupid. I'm not sure the prices went up. <coughs> but as always, I check in the shop and the PlayStation, so I should have got about, you know, about 100 and maybe, yeah, maybe 120 quid, 120, 130 pound. But yeah, with one one less PlayStation, less games, or less price on some of the trade ins. But yeah, I didn't have much stock in there at all, so I was sort of struggling. Apart from there was one board game, which I really wanted. Oh, I did get another board game actually. Yeah, I wanted three board games, but I actually got two actually. And I picked up, um, I've actually got it here. He had Star Trek the Deck Builder game. He had that on the shelf as well. And um, that was second hand. Um, he said like used on it and that was only 20 quid in the shop yeah so I got that Metal, yeah, Metal Gear so, no, no, Ge Gears of War and those books yeah so it should have been 50 or 56 for the play uh, for the Super Nintendo and then I think I got like 20 quid so but, yeah so it's about 100 quid I actually got with my trade-ins 50 for Gears of War 20 for that that leaves what around 30 like 18 yeah, so I think I paid. I think I paid two or three pound like, on top of that in the end. Um, yeah, I, I also took that to the bring and buy, and I put twenty eight quid on it, so I made eight pound profit because they had a twenty pound version on it. I didn't contest check it, so I was a bit. I was thinking, oh, do I contest check it or not? It says like use complete. So I thought, oh, they've done it. Put it in the bring and buy. Um, really, like I said, it only cost me twenty quid. <clears throat> I basically swapped it like a PlayStation One. Which I've picked up, you know, three or four pound with like games on, or ten pound with loads of games I want from my collection or traded the games on. And the PlayStations are just like just bonuses um, over the years. And now they've got uh, gone up in price. The old fat ones with a jewel shop. It's a bit ridiculous, bit ridiculous, but happy. Yeah, so traded in that for them. So well, well happy. Yeah, so I got it was twenty eight quid. Um, take ten percent, two pound eighty off. <laughs> what, what's that? I don't know. Say twenty five quid. <laughs> So I got 25 quid on it. So yeah, so I'll use that money for more for more ball games and stuff. Um yeah, that was sort of it for there. So I was like, oh, a bit disappointed I couldn't you know, I didn't get any more I get, didn't get the other ball games. I forgot what it was. It was Dungeon Laws, a couple of other ones that are there that I could have probably sold on. But I did get the best two to sort of sell on. And the Dungeon Lords ones, I wouldn't have made as much of a profit, if you know what I mean. Like that one was only like what 8 quid. Um but yeah, Gears of War was like 40 quid. <laughs> so yeah, one well, of the other ones would have been only like five or six pounds, a bit less. But yeah, but happy. I'm um, trading my trash. Um, got back on the road, dro you know, driving up north. Um, yeah, traffic was actually good for once. Um, so yeah, normally stop off at Exeter and do like Bridgewater. But this time, yeah, I just did Wells. So yeah, so... Compared to normal, I was probably about 20 minutes ahead of schedule, and that 20 minutes extra sort of gets you further, further ahead of the queues. Um, yeah, so as always, I got up there, um, went to ent Entertainment World, as always, um, brilliant, brilliant guy Rob is. Um, yeah, there's always always a good shout going in there. So I went round there, um, just started picking games out, as always. Look, looked at the cabinets. And he had bags on the floor, bags here, bags there. And I just started looking through for all these bags, loads of stuff. So I've just put everything on the floor, so I can't actually remember what I got. But all I know is I spent 100 quid on all this. So, so well happy. So one of them was actually um, a Return of the Jedi Battle of the Skarlax pit game. <laughs> I was going to put this in the bring and buy to sell. Um, but I actually forgot about it. Um, I left it back at the hotel, and um, it actually looks quite cool and like really weird. And um, yeah, there wasn't like a UK eBay price on this, so I think I actually got it for like twenty quid in the end. Um, but seeing them sell on like the local board or the, the actual board game groups for like fifty, sixty quid, so I was going to put that in the bring and buy. But it is just yeah, I'll just I'll, I'll, I'm just going to keep it in my collection. It's so old. You know, I don't mind like like get um, like selling on some of the, like, the newer games, but this is just like awesome. 1983 as well, and I wanted to play this as well. <laughs> so really happy to get this um, in the collection. Yeah, there's only like American ones. Um, 
Yeah, there's only amalgam ones online. So I'm not sure if it's complete. It looks complete, but <laughs> it looks so fucking bad. <laughs> oh, we get it out now. But it's got, yeah, of course, always the Wookiee. Couple of randoms. <clears throat> Need the music. <laughs> oh, dreadful. <laughs> Oh, look at Jabba the Hutt, he's loving it. It's like the worst Jabba the Hutt ever. Look at him. <laughs> he's not even like big. So I don't understand. <laughs> okay, this game is old. Yeah, this game is old. Oh, no. They've gone down the Skylax pit. They're all dead. I'm never getting that back in the box. <laughs> yeah, so carrying and walking around and... Um, I saw these two, which I've been trying to bid on eBay for, and look out on eBay for. But yeah, I picked them up, there was nothing in it, and I did the usual, you know, will you sell these on their own? And the answer was yes. So I picked up Point Blank 2, which I realised, yeah, Point Blank 2, box only, bit of damage and that. So I think I think actually all, all this came to like 98 quid and he said oh I'll chop these in for free and I go oh, you know call it 100 quid so I basically paid a pound for these. Yeah point blank in the GCOM 45 I've got loads of GCOM 45 guns um, probably about 10 10 plus easy. Um, I do have a couple of spare copies of point blank and also ghoul panic um, a couple of the other sort of like boxed um, um, gun gun sets that I actually was like looking for I just kept that one cop. Copying. I can't remember if these games say, say you know not to be sold separate on the back of the game disc, but I'm I'm just happy just to put a normal copy in there. Um, I could I could easily just look at uh, my other copies over there. But yeah, I also find these ones much better than the PS2 version, even though you can actually see the game and everything. happy. Ghoul Panic, oh every time it comes up on eBay I, it always sells or I don't bid enough. So yeah it's always painful. So I'm not sure it's supposed to have like any more inserts in there. You can sort of see maybe a little leaflet. But happy, happy. Um, I actually picked up another one as well. Um, with like little pickups. Yeah, they're a little bit damaged in that, but I'm just happy to get them the collection. They're basically just like, I guess, sort of freebies, really. One or two quid. A couple other games. Um, Power Move Pro Wrestling. <laughs> Dreadful. So I've already got this, but I'm missing the manual. And searching for a manual forever and ever is just doing my head in. So it's probably about three years I've been searching for a manual for this one. And yeah, and also it comes in. A, it's a, the case is really like in good condition as well. I haven't run out of like double disc ones so far. Sonic, you know, I got a, my actual, my actual budget was a hundred pound for the shop, but yeah, happy to get in the collection. A um, couple of random rental copies. Um, I paid £10 and £15 for Running World. Not to be sold separate and all that jazz. And this one I paid £15 for. So yeah, I'm slowly loving the um, loving the rentals. Um, these two games, I don't think I actually got the normal versions. <laughs> so I just rarely just brought them. There's some games I knew I don't think I had, or um, yeah. So I thought I'd just get the rental copies. <clears throat> okay, um, yeah, literally just down the floor, there was um, a box of manuals. So I picked up all the manuals that I sort of w would like for my collection. And yeah, any, any doubles, I guess, he just lets me all. That's what, if anyone has like a box of manuals, it was like, oh, I'm trying to keep them for myself. But I always try and take any doubles or leave sort of the good ones. 
for any, I remember what Blackpool, me and Kim went to play Expo in Blackpool. Um, yeah, probably a year ago, sort of like the first May bank holiday. And it's got, I had loads of manuals. <clears throat> I could have, and he was, they were really cheap, they were like two quid each or something like that. Um, I could have just brought all the Mario All Stars, stuff like that, but I only bought the ones I sort of really wanted. And I said to the other guys, you know, that he's, he's got some more. So they went and actually got some. You know. So, yeah, so this is what I picked up. So, I picked up the Lemmings, just a random, random little poster. Um, Sega Control Stick. I've got one, but I'm not couldn't remember if I've got a manual in it, so I thought, sod it. Get the manual. Um, Game Boy Advance, this little instruction manual, as, as you call it. Um, Donkey Kong Country, the survival guide. Uh, I saw it, and I didn't actually open it, so <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. Donkey Kong Country. Cracking Kong's essential survival guide. So I'm not sure where this one actually did it come from a magazine? Did it come did, did it come from the big like box version? Console box version? I'm not sure. Another one, Nintendo Game Console. Nintendo Active. And I guess it's just a random catalogue of games. Britain's biggest selling magazine, Nintendo magazine. So I haven't even looked at these through myself, actually. I guess it's just a little advert. Adverts for games. Another Game Boy Advance one. Um, Kid Dracula for the Game Boy. I couldn't remember if I actually got this or not, the game, so... But I thought, Kid Jack Dracula, definitely worth picking up. Another big... Something big, anyway. I don't even know what it is. Okay, Warrior Kings. That's what it says on the back. Units and Builders and Buildings Guide. 2002. Is that a PC game? Don't even know. Don't even know. Must be a PC game. Never heard of it anyway. Oh, painful. <laughs> painful. Um, okay, I've got some random Peter Jackson King Kong, the official game of the movie, and um, postcards. So I'm not sure how many of them. So yeah, so I've got some postcards, 2005. Um, wanted for um, the Sega Master System. GameCube, um, like yeah, instruction manual you call it, instruction booklet. Like I said, I got a few consoles, so I'll double check to see if anyone's missing. I think I must have one or two. Must have one or two. So this one just going there. License to Thrill, Goldeneye. So. Exclusive 12 page preview. Oh, preview? Well, I guess there isn't Golden Eye in it. It looks like Blast Corpse. It's like the worst guide ever. What? It's just Blast Corpse. <laughs> Messes up. I don't know what the rest of it is. Or is it like a, just Blast Corpse? I don't know why it says Golden Eye. I thought it was like a Golden Eye thing. Okay, cy Cybermorphic for the Jaguar. Yeah, I got it. I got the game. But didn't have a manual, which this looks like the worst manual in human history.
I guess the same guy who came up with these booklets are um, doing the PS4 and PS3 manuals. Slash leaflets. Look at that. Dreadful. Okay, this one says Duke Nukem Survival Guide. Pl praying is Duke Nukem. Okay. Thank God for that. Um, I love these um, official Nintendo Magazine little guides. There's, there's, there's some Zelda ones as well. Um, yeah, they're really cool. They are really cool. Apart from that one. <laughs> that garbage. And Tommy... Well, I don't know what it's called, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy Tonic. <laughs> So yeah, I think I've got one over there. I think so. Got a red one. Thunder Turbo. I'm not sure if that's the one. Hi, I speak and spell. Random. Oh, I've got a sky attack in there as well. What's this one? Got no outer book. Oh, this is that um the thing I always see at car boots. There's always like a big the big track, what's it called? Big tank? Trek. I always see these are like car boots where people go crazy for them, but they always seem to be like a new new newer version of them. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> I think I said to him, I can't give you a fire room. He's like, yeah. I was like, okay. But yeah, I have to play more. Yeah, so looking around as always. Um, I noticed this in the cabinet. I got it out. And um, yeah, a little bit of damage. But I was like, you know, I'm in an hour. And said, how much you want for it? He said, 50 quid. And I thought, well, I'll get this for 50 quid. I'm never going to sort of... I'm never going to see one in the wild. I always see my gaming events and they're really expensive. But this one I can actually I can give it a clean. It just needs a clean really. And it is the GameCube chainsaw. So yeah, it is really dusty. Obviously a bit of damage here and there. But I should better glue that back down. And the cover here sort of like comes out like that. But I can easily, I need to clean this up. I can even put a new one in. So, stick it back in. So yeah, so it be better condition. I always see these go for stupid money, but yeah, I'm happy to pay 50 pound. I, I don't have it in my collection. Um, yeah, so it's good to finally get a GameCube Resident Evil one. I always see the, I always see the Resident Evil 2 version. Yeah, just needs, needs a good clean. Bit of repairing. But happy, yeah. So that was basically, yeah, that was like, so it was a hundred quid for that. The Scarlax, some games, um, empty boxes, and some manuals, which I was really happy with. Really happy. So if you're obviously in the Midlands and that, go, yeah, um, go to Entertainment World. I do love it in there. Um, I was, I can't, apparently there's some like, other shops like locally as well. But normally I just go straight to him, spend my money there. And I'm happy just going there, you know, he'll do you some deals. As always, yeah. Um, so that was it for that day. Um, I went to the board game event. Um, the next couple of days. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a separate video. I spent like around like three to four hundred pounds in board games. <laughs> I've got no room. <laughs> I took some and sold some. Yeah, so I took 40, sold 33. So I did bring some back, but I sold all the big items. So I just brought up, brought back some small, smaller items that I probably wouldn't sell, or I price them up wrong, um, or I forgot where they were. I couldn't find them in the bring and buy. Sometimes you can reduce them on the Saturday. So some games I was able to find, thinking oh, that's my copy, reduce them. But yeah, yeah, a good four or five of the ones I came back with, I couldn't find them. I thought some of them had like stolen them, but they were just just put in different locations, different in different categories, and I, I finally found them like, at the end of Sunday. But it's sort of too late to reduce them. Um, yeah, and because I was up there. I had to go um, car booing it. Um, 
Yeah, I couldn't believe how bright it was. It was literally like half four. It seemed to be like so bright up there. Yeah, five to five, bright. It was like it was like daylight out there. I couldn't believe it. Down here, it's only the sun's only just come up. Um, yeah, I went to Studley Kirby. Um, got there at the right time. Did a, yeah, did the usual like got there and then dro drove around the back and joined everyone else in the queue. Um, got there, started walking around. Um, yeah, a couple of rows. And it's a shit loads of people. Fuck my life. Compared to the car boots I go to on a Sunday, this car boot is, yeah, my three or four car boots that I do on Sunday, just into one car boot. And ten times the amount of people are after the stuff. So it was hard. It was hard work. Um, walking around. Got any video games? Got this? No, no. <clears throat> and then other people going, got any video games? At one point, this one woman goes, you're the seventh person to ask me if you got any video games. So I was like, fuck my life. <laughs> you, I was like, fuck it out. It was, that was okay. So a couple of people recognised me from a video. He said, like, oh, yeah, I'm watching your YouTube channel. I'm like, oh, cheers, thanks for watching. <clears throat> so cheers for the shout out. Hopefully you're watching it, um, watching my video. Um, yeah, so give me a shout out. Cheers. And there's always one guy I recognise every year. It's all right, mate. <laughs> it's the same time every year. It's the last three years. I always just see him. And so sometimes when I see him sort of like standing around, I always think, oh, I need to go over there in case obviously he's, there's some games that he's not picking up or whatever. Um, yeah, so I just carried on walking around. Um, yeah, I got, obviously, you obviously got any video games, and they normally say no. They always think you're talking about PS4 games, Wii games, or 360 games. And as good two two cars, I say, got any video games? No. And suddenly they put stuff out, and you're like, oh, that's all the retro stuff. And someone got there first. You think, oh, I asked you about five minutes ago. So, yeah, re really hard. Um, I actually need to probably... Um, there was one guy, he pulled up. It was just absolutely hilarious. He must go every week. He must be... Um, yeah, it must be a house clearance guy. He literally pulled up and put his table out and literally stood by his car. And I'm like, figuring, is he not going to put any stuff out? And suddenly, everyone's like, oh, he's back. And everyone's just like... They should just open in the boot themselves, in the back of the boot, actually right in the boot, in in the front seat, in the car seat, just go actually in the car. And I'm thinking, fucking hell, this is crazy. <laughs> and this duo comes on to the guy and goes, Are you okay? We can sort of we can get them to go back if we want. And he's like, nah mate, let him in. <laughs> Literally, it was just absolute chaos. It was just like that a few times. The stewards had to come along and sort of start shouting at people. But soon when like, the, the boot was open, everyone was just around him. But the best organised car boot, um, I see, no arguing, just a simple line up. I like the ones down here who are just so unorganised. Um, yeah, they fill up row one, one row, just go on to the next. So, yeah, so big up Studley Car Boot for all. pretty, really the best organised car boot I've been to. Um, yeah, so there was like one person. Got any video games? Nah, I haven't got anything. Um, oh, I've actually got something else that I got from, <laughs> I forgot. I've actually got something else I got um, from um, Entertainment World. And it was a Sega. Um, I guess it's a rental case, carry case. For a, must be a Mega Drive. Yeah, so also got this. Bit dusty, need to clean it up. And I posted it on one of some of like one of the gaming groups. And um, the guy said, oh, and one of them's like, oh yeah, I got I got that off eBay for like eight quid. I was thinking, oh, I got it for eight quid as well. So the guy in the shop must obviously looked on eBay. They looked at the sold listings and thought, oh, it's sold for eight quid and they sold it for me for eight quid. So he said he was really lucky to get it for eight quid. I was like, oh, cool, because you lucky to get it for eight quid. So was I. But you can see, it's bloody massive. I've got much room to put anywhere. Yeah, so I've got that for Entertainment World as well. <laughs> oh, I'm posting on Twitter and everything about that. <laughs> yeah, so really happy. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I said to this guy, you know, got any video games? No, I haven't. And he was just, he was bringing up stuff. I was thinking, oh, I, I, I can just sense you're going to have something in there. I can just sense you're going to have something in there. And he just brought out, um, I don't think it was Pokemon cards. Just, just photos, some pops. Um, there's some, some other stuff. I'm thinking, oh, I can tell you. you got, I'm like, are you sure you got no video games? No, I haven't got any video games. Go, you got any old games? Yeah, Mega Drive, Mark. Mega Drive Super Nintendo, and he goes, oh, I've got a Master System. You know, I th no, I think he had one Master System game on the table, and I'm like, oh, that's what I was after, mate. You know, as he said, I've got any video Are you sure you've got a video No, I haven't got any video games. And he's like, puts like a Master System game on the table. Like, that's what I'm after. He goes, oh, I've got the console as well. 
got, I haven't even checked it. I literally just quickly put it in my bag before bloody everyone came like surrounding me. Okay, is there another game down there? I'm not sure. Okay, so it's a Mars System carry case. Mars System 2. Two controllers. Sonic the Hedgehog. Heavyweight Champion. Or Champ. Wimbledon. Um, I don't think I've got actually a Mars System carry case. I might have, I'm not sure. Um, there was one, I thought I had another game. Timber! What's going down? I'm yelling Timber! Okay, World Soccer. That's what I actually saw on the table. It was World Soccer, which is a really good condition. Complete, and also um, it's got the poster in there. I think I might need this. Or is it great football? Or great soccer? Something like that, I need one of them anyway. But yeah, so I got that. He said he had this as well. And I got this for £10, so really happy. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to be built in. Probably the usual Alex the Kid. Um, I'm not sure if I actually got um, one of these Mars System carry cases. Yeah, for 10 quid, I was happy. Because I must have been there for about an hour and 20 minutes and I've got nothing. And I'm like, bloody hell. But you don't really see anyone else get anything. Even I'm asking for, obviously, got any video games, like any old games. And they're like, oh, we've really got really Wii games. And I'm like, oh, let's have a look at the Wii games. But really, I'm after the retro stuff. So the games, yeah, really good condition, actually. <clears throat> so some of them will be going in my collection, swapping out and all that jazz. Um, yeah, carry on walking around. Anything that was 50p or quid, I sort of picked up. Um, ball game wise as well. So, I've got the Oriental Bonanza. <laughs> you see, I'm absolutely loving the Lego games. I took, what, six Lego games to bring and buy. Um, yeah, I put either £5 on for, I guess, ones these size and like £10 for like the bigger ones. Um, and they all sold. So, there's loads of adults there with their kids, obviously, going to the ball game event, going to bring and buy. And stuff like this is just an easy sell. So every time I see him, one or two pound, I'm going to take as many as possible next year. Um, yeah, so yeah, I picked that up. I think this was one or two pound. I actually don't have that one, so. Um, another board game. Um, <laughs> Action Man Spyweb. <laughs> Looks absolute garbage. Uh, <laughs> why do I do this to myself? Yeah, so me and me and a friend would just play this, play it once. Um, it just looks like Guess Who. <laughs> it looks like Guess Who. Battleship slash Guess Who. So that'd be another one to give it a go. Okay, so PS games. So I think these are fifty p or a pound. Jack and Daxter, or Drake and Daxter, Jack and Daxter, Rayman Revolution, these are 50p, I think I was only going to pick up this game, which is Zero Defied, which I need the book and the um, back inlay, and it was a quid, and I said, oh, will you take 50p if I just buy them all, or would you take £2 for the lot, and the guy was like, yeah, they've still got a Toys R Us barcode on the back. And these are just some of our okay cases. Gran Turismo. Alien Trilogy. FIFA 2002. Terry Henry. All the good, the good old days. Okay, Rayman M, Ratchet and Clank Lock 2, or Lock and Load, which I don't have, so I was happy to get that in the collection. Guncom 2, okay, I can't remember where I got these, 
So these, I definitely remember getting those two in a, like a different sort of story. But the best of Infograms Worms, I need to watch back my video because I recorded it. V Rally 2, best of Infograms again. And Medal of Honor Underground. So they must have been 50p to a pound. Um, Meta Gear Solid 2. Mate of Liberty. Any other games? Okay, well these two, um, I was about to go to the, about to go to a different car boot. Um, walking around, um, I took I took most of this back to the car, and um, I thought, do I wait for the last three or four cars? And I saw all the other people. They're all going, obviously, go do it like we do down here. We do a little like car boot tour. And you can see them all getting their cars and leaving and think, oh, I need to follow them, really, to see where they're all going next. And the last sort of, like, the last three or four cars come in, um, yeah, because it's really weird. It sort of fills up, like, there. It goes like that. And then when sort of, like, the field fills up, they've got, like, yeah, there's, like, more room. So the, the, the rows go back there. Why is everyone's, like, sort of here? You have to, like, figure out, oh, there's more cars coming in, because they put them all the way down the bottom. So it's like a four minute, like four minutes, four minute power walk. <laughs> it fucking is ridiculous. <laughs> Going past the most poshest like, looking burger vans ever. They look mass absolutely massive. Well, they are the little ones, the little fucking inbred ones like this pig. <laughs> with like one person, it's <laughs> like one person with like fucking oil over his fucking apron. You're like, how are you, you haven't even served anyone? <laughs> well, these ones look really fucking nice and posh, man. Anyway, yeah, so. I took stuff back to the car and then I thought, oh, I'll just check the last couple of hours. And I saw these in the sort of like, uh, yeah, this woman was just setting up a table. I saw these back in the boot and I'm like, excuse me, can I just have a look at these PS1 games? And, um, I don't know, I think it was actually magic cards, actually. There were some magic cards on the floor. Yeah, it might have been magic cards. These were, in, yeah, these were in the car and there was a magic cards on the floor. So I'm like, oh, look, I'm like, how much you want for these magic cards? He's like, oh, they're my sons. Can we look at these video games? Yeah. Where are my sons? And you know, how much you know, would you take a five from this? Because I wanted a bit more. But in the end, um I got them for what, eleven or twelve quid? So I got a big bundle of magic cards. Um Do I even have like a box? Uh, to even like show. No, not really. Don't even have a box. Well, this was one of them anyway. I got like a Spider-Man vs. Doc Ock Marvel training game. And there was like loads of magic sets like these. And yeah, it came in this big box. And um, this was actually... F yeah, this had magic cards and Pokemon cards, all full. And just imagine another two of these, just full of magic cards. Yeah, and it was what, 11, 12 pound for the lot. So there was the Resident Evil 2, Dino Crisis 2, and there's one more game. No, oh, that's a charity shop find. Might have been one of these. It probably might, might have been one of these jokers. Maybe, maybe yeah, one, one of them. So I was well happy. Um, yeah, so yeah, so just left the car boot. Um, it was really hard going. I've never seen anything like it. Like I said, it was people everywhere. So many people after the games. There was one guy, um, he set up his table. There's loads of like, old women looking at the jewellery. And he had a box on the floor. And I saw a Game Boy in there. And there was this guy, sort of like on, sort of like, sort of our side of the table, like looking in, the, looking in the box. So I just like carried on looking in the box. He's like, "What are you doing?" I go, "I'll oh, just look in the box." And he like looks at me and goes, "What are you doing?" I go, "Looking in the box." I'm going, "Can I look in the box?" And he's like, "No, you can't." I'm like, oh, "Okay, sorry." And then it turns out he's the person selling the games. I'm like, "What?" <laughs> he goes, "Oh, no one's buying those games." And there was like a PSP in there, two or three Game Boys in there. And like games in there, like no, no one's, no one's buying the games. And I'm like, oh okay. And he's just uh, stood there like this, going, mm. looking at, looking at these old ladies doing the jewelry. Where his girlfriend, like every five minutes, with someone come. I'm like, just standing there, saying, so oh, I'll, I'll patiently wait. So I'm gonna look at the box. Where everyone else was sort of like coming up, looking at the box of games. And the girl was like, everyone's like, oh, he's just saying to his girlfriend, oh, how much are those games? And like, how much are the games? The games are going out. The games are going out. It was like me and this other guy, 
you know, a couple other people sort of pretending to be out on the next, <laughs> the next cars like, on either side. It's like waiting. And after about five minutes, I'm thinking, bloody hell, I'm like, oh, I just really want those games. Or do a cow and looking around because there's more cars coming in. And then these, these old lady, got any gold, got any jewellery. They, they purchased them, and then he got out the games. Got out the Game Boy. I'm like, oh, how much is the Game Boy? He's like, 30 quid. I'm like, oh, fuck my life. <laughs> I go, 30 quid. How much is the games each? Like, four quid each. It's like the worst games. Oh, how much is PSP? Like, 30 quid. 30, 40 quid. I'm like, oh. I was like, well, that's the end of that story. <laughs> I carried a walking figure for fuck's sake. And everyone else was like, fucking, can't be bothered to ask. So he must have been like a trader, but he sort of came in so late. So yeah, so it was a bit weird. I'm like, absolute, absolute dickhead, just making us wait. And it's like, why don't you just let me look in the box? You could have just told me how much they are. Just let me look and how much. But yeah, so it was really annoying. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't see other people sort of pick up much. Um, I know the guy I see every year, he just said, oh, I missed out some GameCube games. I'm like, oh, God damn it. But yeah, re really hard going, really hard going. Um, yeah, but happy, happy with all what I got. Um, oh, got some more stuff down here. Um, yeah, there was this one lady. I think I might have picked up some of the PS1 games off her, actually. Um, yeah, like I said, patiently waiting for some um, games to come out. And she had lots of old stuff, so I was thinking, okay, oh, no, I, could t I could tell you to bring some games out. And she did maybe, I think I actually got some of the PlayStation games, but I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, some random, like, I don't know, 3D action board game? That's what I thought. But also, I saw this come out first, I think. Tower of Doom, skilled action game. There's no skill at all. It's just random. Beware of Shredder. You won't get any pizza. <laughs> dreadful. Absolute dreadful. Yeah, so that was that from that, from that woman. Well, funny. Yeah, like I said, I picked up all of those magic cards and Pokemon cards, and I thought, that's absolutely brilliant. Um, PS1 games. So I thought, oh, do I do one more round or do I go to the next car boot? And I thought, oh, I thought, I just go back to that car where everyone's like delving in, thinking, I must be something. For me, so yeah, I went in there. I went back to the car. There's still people in the car, and this guy had like a little, like little, like tub of Zoids. I'm like, oh, I wouldn't mind the Zoids. Thinking, oh, they look like Zoids. A couple of them were sort of like box. It's a box of a damage, but a couple of box. Sort of like waiting around for oh, and, but the guy got on my like car, and I saw some old ball games in there. And I'm thinking, oh, do I buy these old ball games? They're really, old. I've never heard of them. <clears throat> and then I saw this at the bottom. And I'm like, oh, okay, excuse me, mate, when well, there's actually some guy in the car, like, excuse me, mate, um, that box on the bottom, could you pass me over? He's like... <laughs> With the lag behind, I'm like, cheers, mate. <laughs> How much for this? He's like, two quid. So I thought, oh, cool. And it's a Galaxy Action la or Laser Light Pack. It includes special jacket, holster, and target. Eight foot range. I'm going to test that. So this was two quid. So I took a punt. Yeah, there's loads of old board games, loads of old, um, I guess like, a bit like Meccano, but it was like different, it looked like old, older Meccano, a bit bigger. And there was a Polish guy there who was just buying ev everything. It was just buying, it was just, he had his two or three kids, like, bags, bags, and one little kid, I was like, it was board games, something like Meccano, I don't know, whether it was like old, sort of looked like Playmobil, but it wasn't Playmobil. It was just all, it looked like all, like, all the stuff we would all normally would go for. Meccano Playmobil, but it's just like different stuff. But yeah, so I was happy to get that for two quid. Yeah, so I went on to sort of the next car boot. I sort of did see actually one of the traders who obviously must have been going around buying stuff. It might be a collector trader or whatever. And so I just followed him. So I thought, I'm just going to follow this guy. Didn't know where I was going. So it was about eight o'clock. <clears throat> yeah, didn't know where I was going at all. Just followed him. I thought, bang on, sign saying, car boot. Followed him into the car boot. I thought, sorted. But it looked like it, it looked like it was another car boot that started at six o'clock. Um, must have been over. So I sort of walking around. I saw some of the other like people after the games and that all asking for Legos, DVDs, CDs, and all stuff like that. They're sort of coming out. So I thought, oh, I should have came here earlier, but I'm happy with sort of the late pickup. And yeah, so I walked around. Nothing, nothing there at all. Um, came out, and then went back to yeah, back to the event. So, um, yeah, well happy, well happy. Um, yeah, went back to um, 
went back to the hotel, shower, and me and my mate we went yeah straight straight to um, the gaming event. Um, I think actually he did it, yeah. Um, he had went in the bring and buy to buy some more games. Only got one more, but that was about it really. Um, and then when I was like walking around, checking out the venue because only really Sunday I actually see the venue. Um, I, I purchased some more um, sort of board game items, um, like monster packs for some of my like like um, board games in behind me. And I saw like a long queue. I'm like, why is there a long queue? And um, I see people with their folders. Why is there a long queue? And there's uh, at, this, at the board game event. There's like a magic tournament and like a Pokemon tournament. And it goes, oh, this guy, he's you know the vendor. He's buying like magic and like um, Pokemon cards. I literally looked at my mate, and mate looked at me, thinking, "Back to the car." So I went back to the car, um, got these, got the magic cards, got the Pokemon cards, and we started sort of looking through some of them. And I mean, all all the shinies were like completely fake shinies. I'm like, these look, okay, these don't even look off. Okay, these don't even look right or feel right. He goes, "Yeah, yeah, they're real." I'm like, "I'm sure they're not." Showed them to some of the other people selling Pokemon cards in the. Give it up, mate. I think that's fake. That's fake. I'm thinking, oh god, fake, 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 fake. So I thought, oh god, damn it. Um, yeah, this one had like a, they had like a magic dealer, a magic the Gavin dealer, and they sort of Pokemon dealer, and there's like two separate queues. So I got my mate to sit in the longest queue, which is the Pokemon one, with my Pokemon cards, and I just went in the magic one. I was only the second person because not many people were selling. And he, gave, I just like, hey, I've got some magic cards. You buy magic cards? He's like, yeah, we buy magic cards. You sell in your collection? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm selling my cars that I got. <laughs> but I didn't tell him I picked him up the car boot that day for like, I think it was like 11 or 12, 11 or 12 pound. And there was actually probably about a good 500 cars. He's there like looking through them all, um, sort of separating them out into rares, commons, and even like, even sort of like some cars that are like 10, 15 years old, sort of like common back in the day. They're sort of like sought after, if you know what I mean. Like they go for like 10, 15 quid. But we probably only give me three or four pound trading. And then he, after like probably about 25 minutes, separated the cards out. He just goes, oh, these ones I literally give like half a P for. <laughs> just all the common ones. This pile was like three pound. This pile was two pound. This pile was like four pound. This pile was like six pound. And I'm thinking, oh, how much is it? How much is it? And he's like, he adds it all up. And um, I'm like, you must have these boxes I literally don't care about. And he goes, well, um, it's 55 cash or 65 pound trading. And I was like, Fucking brilliant! <laughs> I'm like fucking brilliant. Um, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that, mate. Um, I looked for some, for some board games. Let's see if I can buy a board game for like sixty-five quid, and then put it in like the bring and buy for like sixty quid to get like sixty quid. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, yeah, there, there wasn't anything I wanted to sort of buy and sort of if I thought if I buy something, I'm going to keep it myself or put it in the bring and buy. I thought it's easy to take the fifty-five quid. So I took the 55 quid, I thought, oh, result. My mate's in the Pokemon queue, and we went in the Pokemon queue, and I know he sort of just like went off um, for a bit, so I was just there. And what did I go off for a bit? I think he just, he's in the queue talking to the other like Pokemon player, because he's sort of into Pokemon, the newer ones, but I had, all, I had all old cards. So yeah, so he's there talking, so I went off for like half an hour, and came back because the queue was going really slow. The guy looked at the cards. There's probably about 200 of the worst looking cards in history. It's not much there. The guy, like, in two minutes he looked through them all and he just goes, Oh, um, you yeah, know, I'll give you, give you 13, 14 quid for these. I'm just like, okay, I'll take that. So, yeah, so basically, like, 68 quid, I think it was 68 or 69 quid. <clears throat> yeah, when it only cost me 11, 12 pounds when I got, when I got, like, some games, two or three games, and a random. That I'm gonna thought result. I basically, I basically got eggs for fifty five quid. Um, yeah, so that guy's there every year apparently. Um, so every Pokemon card I pick up or Magic card that I pick up from um, the car boot sales, I'm all just gonna save him for him. Um, yeah, I normally take him to my local dealer, and he probably would only give me like fifteen quid for the lot or something. Not even, not even good money at all. So yeah, I'm saving it for this guy. He must go around the conventions and that, and has a shop and stuff, and sells them online. So he can have him have him sitting in his books for until he sells them, you know. <clears throat> well, my local guys just want to literally have it in like a week, and wants to try and sell it in within like a week. And I want you know sold as soon as possible. But I'm saving all my cards <laughs> for him next year. I can't believe it. But 
thinking these are just old cars that are just useless for, for anybody. But yeah, he's selling, yeah, like I said, cars he gave me three quid for, he's selling for like seven pound in your little book. But yeah, he makes, I guess, money when, when somebody buys them and sort of I made money, it's just, just like that. So I was well happy. Extra money in which goddess I trust. Yeah, so this is, yeah, so this is it, mate. Uh, yeah, this is it, people. Um, we've got some ball games. <laughs> Some old ball games, bit, bit bashed. I got, you know, got a mile system. So the last like month and a half, I picked up a Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, N64, and a mile system at a car boot. <laughs> I just realised that fucking and a PSV. So yeah, well happy. And I, yeah, I just I didn't see many people walk around with like bags and bags of games or anything retro at all. It's just yeah, like I said, it's just mainly like the newer games which I don't really care about. Um, yeah, it was funny. It was, you had like, the African lizards, uh, the, the Iranian lizards, uh, bloody every nationality lizard ever. <laughs> it was like, what the hell's going on, man? <laughs> it's like the multi multicultural lizards on the mission. <laughs> and it was me, like a black Cornish guy, figuring out, you know, filling out a place, thinking, what the fuck? This is, it, it, honestly, I've never seen that car, I've never seen a car boot. It's every year I say it, I've never seen a car boot like it. It's just absolutely carnage. Absolutely carnage. There could be just one guy just putting out the old old antiques onto a table. Well, down here be like four or five people just around the table. There it's like twenty people. <laughs> you know, what? Absolute chaos. So yeah, re 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 yeah, really happy. Um, I need to test this. Eighty foot range, it says. Bullshit. I'm telling you, bullshit. But it looks cool. It looks cool. I don't know if it's even done by. Made in Korea. Aldon? Good hell, Aldon. Aldon. <coughs> yeah, so time to go and um, sort all this out, guys. Yeah, so this is my first video. I might do another video with the ball games and that in two or three days' time. Because it's going to take me a while to sort out. And. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, these fuckers. Um, because it because like, obviously it rained the night before. Like the grass was so long and wet, my feet were absolutely soaking wet. I just found these in the bag. And um, yeah, when I got back to have a shower, I, just, I shoved my hair dry in my shoes. Uh, and I shouted the spark out like my mate. I like Sparky. Can you you know can you change my hair dry into my other shoe? And when I went and put my shoes on, I'm thinking, what's going on here? I realise I'm me I melted like my soles. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed. My yeah, you know, my S dot car is from like two thousand and two, two thousand and three, like Jay Z's like trainers, which I absolutely love. <laughs> the soles are absolutely destroyed. <laughs> I thought there's I thought there's another game in the bag. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I still got some more. I still got some more stuff there. Uh, yeah, just a charity shop find ninety nine p. Metal Gear Solid. Um, yeah, I just went to the charity shops. Um, I don't know why I did that. Why did they go there? I went, that, I went to because um, obviously I sold some um, ball games at the um, bring and buy. So I had like four hundred fifty quid. I needed to put into the bank. Actually parked outside in a half an hour free bay. Went to the charity shop. To be honest, I quickly just looked at the ball games and started to leave. And the woman was like, "Oh, we have got some games for you." Because they're my son's games, and she had these on the shelf. So yeah, I didn't even look on the shelf once. Like I didn't even look on the shelf. I got Mega Gear Solid, um, yeah, Solid Hill demo and everything, 99p. Also another eBay purchase. And um, like I said, I'm going off of the G-Con like box sets for the PS1 and PS2. And it's Vampire Knight G-Con 2. Um, I took a gamble with this one. Um, basically, it was 99p start. And I emailed the guy saying. You know, what's your buy it now price? He must have been back saying 20 quid. I said, um, I'll finish work in like four hours time. You know, I'd love to obviously buy it off you for that price. And then I'll message him saying how much all in. He said, you know, 25 pound postage. Here's my email. Let me know when you pay. Literally 30 seconds later. Paid him. I said, I'll, I'll be paying him um, goods and services, which he didn't mind. I think it might have been cheaper if it's friends and family. I thought if I just do it, you know, that's why I said 20 quid and, and the postage was like £23 and when he came back with 25 I thought well that's probably the extra 
sort of fee you have to pay for goods and services. So yeah, <clears throat> so I paid £25 for this, um, came in the post, um, literally this morning, or oh, yesterday morning, I don't know, it's been a long day. And yeah, so it's another one ticked off. The only one I'm sort of missing, I think it's Time Crisis 2. Yeah, Time Crisis 2. So I've got Time Crisis, I've got Crisis Zone over there. Time Crisis Project Titan, Point Blank 1. I've got Point Blank 2 here. I've got Ghoul Panic, Ninja Assault, Vampire Knight, Time Crisis 3. So there's only Time Crisis 2, <coughs> I think, is the only one sort of left out of the PAL ones. Me thinks. <laughs> if I'm wrong, let me know. <laughs> yeah, so, well, well good. And yeah, it came two days later, so I paid £25. Two days later, in the post. Um, yeah, not the best condition, but yeah, happy. Well happy. <laughs> Random. Is there any more? Any more? Any more? Any more down here? A random Mario t shirt. <laughs> I don't care. I can't even remember what I paid for that. Okay, that's definitely it. That is definitely it, guys. Yeah, thanks for liking, thanks for watching, thanks for sharing. Feel free to comment and all that jazz. Yeah, and I spent about £400 on board games, so hopefully my next, my, my, my next video will be about, about board games. So cheers, guys. Um, yeah, well, happy. Eight quid.